All right, so entrepreneurs get stuck in second gear too many times. And the reason being is they're not fully committed. They're not fully committed to growing the business or fulfilling the dream that actually had them make the choice to become an entrepreneur. So one of the models that I've adopted over the year is all gas, no brakes. And the reason being is if you're committed and you want to design the lifestyle that you want and then build the business required to live that lifestyle, you have to be all in. You can't be half in. You can't be dipping your toes in and going, I think I want to do this. And that's what I've seen over the years. A lot of entrepreneurs just really kind of testing the waters to see if they want to do it. But here's what happens when, they, when you just test the waters. The first bump that you run up against is going to get in your way and you're going to allow it to stop you from reaching the original goal that you set when you decided to be an entrepreneur. So here's the thing. When you go all in, when you commit, things are going to happen. What's going to happen, one, is you're going to realize that there's people that don't want you to succeed because they're going to project on you their own insecurities and try to pull you back. So if you're not all in and that person pops up in front of you and gets in your way, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, maybe you're right. But if you're all in and you have all those little breaks, you're going to push them to the side and move forward. And it's going to be a tough decision sometimes because these might be people close to you. But if you've got goals and you got dreams, you got to go for them. You can't be half in on that stuff. And so another thing is you're going to have to surround yourself with people that are building you up, people that are pushing you, not only just like there's your rah, rah, cheering crowd, but you're going to need people there that are going to challenge you, that are going to make you better, and they're going to force you to be at your best. And so when it becomes going to all gas, no brakes, your surroundings matters as well. So the people that are in your life, you got to get the negativity out and you got to keep the people that push you close. And so as an entrepreneur, one thing I wanted to do is just inspire you. Like, look, if you're, if you're half committed, you're set up for mediocrity. And if that's, my guess is that's not what you wanted. You don't want to be average. You don't want to be mediocre. And you decided to be an entrepreneur for a reason. And so what you want to do is be all gas, no brakes. If you commit it, go all in, and you're going to be able to do the things that you set out to originally. That's just one thing I wanted to impart upon you. So a prime example of not going all in and not being all gas, no brakes is one I'll share with you, which is what I do. So a few years back, I decided I really wanted to get into this media company. I, you know, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I want to build a business. I've been running this agency for a long time. I want to build a business that allows me to wake up send emails and be done for the day. And I, when I first got into the marketing space way back in 2006, that's what my business consisted of. I consisted of, I would send emails, and we generate revenue, and then I go about my day. And so I wanted to get back to that. And that was a few years ago. So I spent the money to go sit down with uh, an expert in that industry to really kind of scale, figure out how to do it at scale. And sat down, had the meeting, figured out some of the pieces that needed to be put in place, but then I sat on it. I just did my toes in, right? And I sat on that idea for two years. And then finally, I committed. It was, you know, time had passed. I was like, you know what? I really need to make this happen. I woke, I woke up and was like, I really want to get back to the lifestyle-driven business where we're sending emails, generating revenue, and living more of a lifestyle-driven business. And what I ended up doing was finally going all in. It took two years, but within nine months of going all in and committed to that business, we grew a seven figure company. And so I was super excited about it. But then I look back at that and I'm like, wait a minute, what if I would have, what if, right? We don't want to be sitting around talking about what if, but what if I would have gone and started that two years prior to when I first made the decision that I wanted to do it. That business would be two years farther along than it was than it is currently because we would have started sooner and there's opportunity lost by only being half in, right? Just dipping the toes in and not really being fully committed at the time. There was opportunity lost, there was growth lost, there was experience lost. So that's why when you make a commitment, and I speak from experience on this one, when you make a commitment, you have to go all in. You have to be all gas and no brakes. Otherwise, you're losing opportunity, you're losing out on building the, the lifestyle, building the business, building the dreams that you set out to do. So no matter what, go all gas, no brakes. Once you make the commitment, go for it.